Hello and welcome to the internet, my name is Jake Dragon 7 and welcome to today's episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. So in the previous episode, we took on Moonlight in the Lost City, and today, we're going to be heading to our very own lair, the Explodatorium. Well, great, y'all fucked up. Actually, can I... There we go, that's better. What a real genius handle this. Alright, so yeah, um, um yeah. after all I do that. So, yes, for Plague Knight's very own level, the way they decide to handle it is to have you going through it to track down someone who is, you know, trying to take over your turf. Um, sure, it's fairly easy to guess who that certain someone is, but I certainly won't spoil it. So, um, right, I'm actually down one. <laughs> That's not something that usually happens in this game. It's pretty easy to always have five tonics, because they're like really common. But yes, so Explodatorium, of course, still difficult as always, but um, of course our kit is quite chaotic as well, so I suppose they can make things a little bit easier. Grab the freaking thing. All right, so. Probably use the bat to help out, but nah, eh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Of course, I'm not sure if I made it up here when I did this with Shovel Knight. There's a good chance I did, but it's a lot easier to make it to places like this with Plague Knight, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Alright, though. So, ooh. Ooh, yeah. See, that is, the bat is very useful. That was quite close, but, uh, still managed to survive. Alright. Speaking of survival, it's probably a little bit of health, or, or, you know, I can just not hit him. Sure, that's cool too. Alright, so. Um. Part of me feels like we already do have a pretty good amount of gold, but at the same time... There's always so much to buy. There's a, there's definitely a lot of upgrades to get in this game. I feel like this probably has more upgrades than the um, other two knights. I think that probably has the most to buy. Just because your weapon is constantly getting upgraded throughout the game. I suppose the other two, which are just kind of... No, excuse me. I suppose the other two, which are just kind of gaining more. Like, you know, on top of their weapons, I guess. Well, not really upgrading their weapons that much themselves. I guess someone like does a little bit, but not too much. But, um, yeah, not nearly as much as Plague Knight does, at least. Oh, fuck. But yeah, Plague Knight gets all his extra tools and his weapon upgrades. And again, you can buy armor, which I may possibly look at this episode, if not next episode. Hopefully. Hmm. I do want to tackle the armory this episode, but... As the thing I do after this level, but um, no, oh, excuse me, I don't know why. Coughing like that. <laughs> I'm not actually coughing, but I feel like I'm going to. It's weird. All right, so on that. But um, yeah, I certainly do have quite a bit to upgrade in Plague of Shadows. It's pretty fun though, and I mean, it's not like it's all like mandatory. A lot of the upgrades won't even really seem all that useful to some people, so... Yeah, I mean, I haven't... I really don't think I've used too much of what I've bought. <coughs> oh god, I'm sorry right now. I don't know how weird my voice is going to sound on the mic, but... Yeah, it definitely sounds weird IRL, because... I don't know. It's like something in there. <laughs> Alright, though, so, let's keep on moving on here. Just these little shovel like ghouls are fucking us now. You think Plague Knight would have the authority to tell all these little jackasses to just obey their leader or whatever, but well, apparently not. Alright, now, not me coin. Actually, it's one of my least favorite relics in Shovel Knight, so. I kind of forget which relic you get, I mean, which arcana you get in this level. For some of the other levels, I can definitely remember them, but not here. And I can remember all the 
relics because I, I mean Shovel Knight's just been out for a lot longer. I mean, like, even though I do stand by what I said a while ago about liking the Arcana more, um, and generally just finding it more useful, I do feel like at this point the relics are almost a little bit more iconic because, you know, Shovel Knight kind of kind of the name of the game, right? <laughs> so I don't know, his tools just feel a little bit more recognizable. Maybe that's just me though, I'm not sure. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so far it's that was actually going pretty well. And the magic is just floating up in the air. It's magical. Could that be considered a pun? Not really, right? That's not really a pun. I like to consider myself a sort of connoisseur of puns, but I know I'm not. I'm absolute trash tier. But to be fair, when it comes to puns, who isn't, right? I mean, puns, I feel like that's sort of the, the essence, the appeal of puns. They're all really garbage, but, you know, not all garbage is bad, right? Like my channel, Lay Lamau. Um, I don't think there's any point to do it. I always, like, see that up there, and I'm like, why is that up there? Because, yeah, you can, like, you're supposed to get up there like that, and I never think of doing that in Shovel Knight Story, so I always end up missing that, um, the, the sheet that's usually up there for Shovel Knight Story. And then with Plague Knight Story, you can just kind of jump up there, and it's like, ah, nice. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so this mini boss. Mmm, I think nah, I want that still. So we're gonna try this. At least at, for the moment. And. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch back to Black Powder. And I may actually throw the Leech Slick. No, you know what? I'm gonna throw the Vat on, actually. I feel like that could be pretty useful in this fight. And ooh, you know what? Let's actually, yeah. Uh, I don't usually do this, but let's, let's try out with some different first, shall we? Didn't quite work out, but okay, I tried. Um, okay, that I'll keep on. I'm gonna go back to Cascade Powder. Go back to Float first. Oh yeah, it's all done, okay, so wait. Then I do not want Cascade Powder. No thank you. I feel like a lot of the powders that aren't the black powder are really only useful in like boss fights or in like mini boss fights, which I mean it kinda more or less feels similar enough, <laughs> I guess. Not really, but you know what I mean. Um But yeah, like a lot of the time in a normal level, like I feel like you usually you, you usually just want the black powder because the effect's pretty useful, and of course having more bombs just feels better usually. Like, I feel like in most, someone actually that's not really true. I forget what I was about to say. <laughs> even though I didn't even start it, so you can't know anything in the first place. All right, though, whatever. <laughs> so. Well, I guess I actually, you know, yeah, I will kind of, I will sort of say what I was going to say. Um, I actually feel like really the only thing that, like, is not useful that you start, like, like, of all the things you start off with, I feel like the only thing that doesn't really stay useful throughout the rest of the game is probably the basic burst. Just because all the other bursts are really just that with added effects. Whereas I feel like with say different types of bombs like you're getting different arcs but sometimes like you know i usually stick with the basic bomb types say for having the longer fuse um like i do use bounce casing a lot because it hits in front of you easier than in some of the other bursts and it feels a bit less gimmicky at times i feel like plague knight is almost sort of like a gimmicky character but he's such a fun gimmick like, even if that's how- if that's what you want to call it, it's just- it's so ridiculously fun, and it's really clever. Like, even if sometimes there are just certain elements that feel kind of useless, 
they're all really like all the things that playing that has at his disposal are just fun to use. Again, he is maybe this is just my bias showing because he's always sort of just been my favorite knight, but like he's definitely my favorite of the knights to play. Um, and I mean, I know I haven't actually played King Knight yet, but I definitely don't see that changing with King Knight. Um, I have to say, a lot of praise for this guy, and of course, I give it to him when we're playing through his level. <laughs> <It's> when else? <laughs> um, definitely want the bats. I actually think we are about to get to the boss. Yep, okay. I'm gonna say Leech Liquid. Because obviously I know what's coming up. You guys don't. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw on... I'm gonna leave Black Powder on for now, but I think I'm gonna switch to Tracer Powder in a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna start off with the Black Powder. Ooh, one other thing. Actually... I will fall onto the bat for just a second. Hey, look at this place! Woo! Yeah, so you can find Plague Knight Seeker Room Friendly as a golden mask. Ooh, neato. But, um, yeah, that's just a uh, neat little Easter egg. Um, there's one, there's something like this in Spectre Knight's campaign as well. Oh, wait. No, no, I want to start off with the black powder. I'll go to Tracer Powder later, please. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see what happens. This is just so clever. In so many ways. I mean, of course, it's pretty cool being able to fight Shovel Knight. But what's even what I think is even better is the way they kind of started off, and I'm not aiming properly right now, so fine. Oh no. Wait, I accidentally switched back to that. What the fuck? Okay. But I think what's really, but again, what's really clever about this fight, in my opinion, is the setup to this fight. There is such a good setup to this, and I am getting my ass beat right now. I'm not. Getting... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, uh, I keep getting sidetracked here. This is literally the fight from Shovel Knight, except now you're playing it from Plague Knight's perspective. Now, in all fairness, his relics are actually a bit different than what he'd have in the actual game. So I suppose that does make it a bit, like, because you can't have, he has that thing, I believe it's, I don't forget what that one's called. But he definitely does not have that, like, that relic is from late game. Um... But I'm not gonna, don't let that break the immersion. Like this is still really clever, and the opening cutscenes the same and everything. It's a really neat intro, and a really neat, really neat fight. Okay, I feel like this is gonna be a lot easier once we get rid of all these blocks. If I'm not mistaken, there's actually an achievement for beating this fight without breaking a single block, which I have no idea how in the fuck you pull that off. That just seems fucking hard. Actually, scratch hard. That just seems impossible. Um, yeah, Shovel Knight definitely does have its fair of obnoxious tools. Um, I think I've done that thing yet. Ah, fuck. Um, but yeah, he can like, as you've um, probably seen, he has knocked things back at me, so that's pretty obnoxious to deal with. Really? Really? Okay, so here's the thing. So, as you saw, Shovel Knight does have a lot of his relics, right? And one of them is actually one of the chalices. He's able to heal back half his health. I wonder if he just doesn't do that if you do shitty, like I was doing right there. That's weird, because I've... And yeah, I do like how they do that to me, because he still wins. But he also doesn't, as we'll see in a second. Like, we, we still win as well. So it, it does keep heavily in line with the original story. It really is like a parallel universe of Shovel Knight. It's very clever. But, um, fuck, what's I saying? Okay, right, so he has a chalice, so he can heal back half his health, and I thought he always did that, so I was kind of waiting, that's why I was saying, like, why hasn't he done the thing yet? The thing was healing. It's really confusing, like, I'm surprised he didn't do anything. Again, I did really bad. I used to struggle with that fight a lot. Over time, I've gotten better at it, but 
for a while. That was a pain in the ass for me. Again, I just love the way they really do have a lot of nods to Shovel Knight. Um, it's clever. I buy it more than enough. Okay, then. try that in the south here, I don't know. That's actually, that one's kind of neat. You know what I'll do first, though? Okay, let me see real quick. Mm -hmm. Let me try something real quick. Um, because a lot of these at this point get a little bit... I suppose experimental is the best way to put it. Okay, so that's actually all the magic upgrades. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, if I kind of thought there was another magic upgrade you could have gotten, but apparently not. So, yeah, I'm just gonna see what seems most appealing. I think I'll start with. Ooh, you know what? Actually, let's get the world casing first. Then. I'll pick up this. Um. So it's impact fuse. And I'm gonna save the rest of my gold for now, actually. So, world casing. Yeah, functionally, it's just like a boomerang. Pretty neat. Um, definitely be fairly useful. I feel like it's not too complicated, so which I kind of feel makes it a bit better than some of the other ones. So yeah, that, that's a pretty basic one. Um, it explodes pretty quickly, but you know, it can be fairly useful. And spin burst, the last burst type. So yeah. Um, is there any weird effects, or am I? No, I must be thinking of something else. Okay then. So that tackles all of that, but of course we still have um, stuff to tackle in this area of the map. Before we head on, um, yeah, I think we're gonna do the armory real quick. Actually, I kind of surprised the bass hasn't appeared yet. The message is full of surprises. Well... First and foremost, we have plenty of cypher coins to grab back here. Alright, well... And whereas you can still see Shovel Knight coming through here as well. Clever little touches. So, let's see. What do you got, Percy? I think, do I have enough? Damn it all, four shorts. Well then, we can tackle that next episode. In the meantime, there's gotta be something else we can tackle. Shit, Baz is here. Well... No time like the present! I guess. Even though I still fucking despise this fight. And... <laughs> Thank you. 
Great pun, Baz. Great pun. 10 out of 10. I will say, I like how in some situations, it also kind of seems like some of the... Um, I guess it's actually not always true, but if I, particularly here, I'd say, it kind of feels like Baz, this fight is a response to his fight with Shovel Knight. Because if you remember, when he fought Shovel Knight, he wanted to become a knight so he could get into the order. And he's tried to fight Shovel Knight to take his title as a, as a knight. Now he's kind of doing the same thing for against Plague Knight. But of course, it is completely ass-backwards logic, trying to kill a scientist to become a scientist. Well, not kill, but defeat. But I'm sure Baz... I don't know why I keep doing that this video. I'm just completely out of the loop, apparently. I don't know that's quite the term I was looking for there. Whatever. I am using it works, I guess. But, um, shit, what was I saying? <laughs> Something about Baz being a moron. Whatever, he's dead now. I'm always happy when I don't struggle with this fight, because I hate fighting Baz so much in most situations. But okay, with Baz down, we actually do have a little funny uh, cutscene right here. Yep, yep, they, they did this. I'm just gonna walk away slowly. I think that's the best course of action we can take here. So, with Baz down, that is gonna wrap up this episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. If you imagine to find some form of enjoyment, please consider leaving a like, and maybe even subscribing to see the rest of the series. So, yes, hope you have a nice day, and hope to see you all in the future. Bye!